This is the Gamesmith, and today we create some weapons. As a setup, I only have here a simple scene, which consists mainly of a player that can only move right and left. And a static enemy. All I put on the enemy is just a box collider and set it as a trigger, and a rigid body 2D. Hmm. And now, it's time to start working. First of all, drag the weapon sprite to the scene and adjust its size and orientation. Now make it a child of the player game object. Then go to the scripts folder and create a new C sharp script, calling it gun. After that, add it to the gun game object and open it in Visual Studio. Once it opens in Visual Studio, we delete the star function as we won't need it and start by declaring a new public game object and let's call it shot. A public transform called shot start. a public float called offset another public float called main time between shots and finally a private float called time between shots. Now we head to the update function and at the beginning we declare a vector3 called aim direction and set it to be equal to camera dot main dot screen to world point and between two brackets we type input dot mouse position and then subtract the current position after that a float called rotation d and we'll set it to be equal to mass f dot a tan 2 and between two brackets we start by typing aim direction dot y then aim direction dot x Now we multiply this value by mass f dot rad to degree. Then after this, transform dot rotation equal to quatrimian dot Euler and between two brackets we type zero in the rotation around the x-axis, another zero in the rotation around the y-axis, and finally around the z-axis we type rotation z plus offset. Now we add an if statement to check whether the time between shots is less than or equal to zero and if so, we'd like to check if the player is given an input. So if input dot get mouse button down and between two brackets we write zero for the left mouse button. Now if those two conditions are met, we'd like to instantiate a shot at the position of 
chart start dot position with the gun's rotation so transform dot rotation and after that we want to set our time between shots to be once again equal to main time between shots else if the time between shots is not less than zero so we want the time between shots to decrease by a value of time dot delta time great now save the script and return back to unity once we're back in unity add the bullet sprite to the scene adjust its size and position now add the polygon collider to it and set it to trigger after this go to the scripts folder and create a new c sharp script but this time call it shot open it in visual studio and then we'll start by declaring a public float called speed then a public float called time to destroy type invoke then between two brackets destroy shot and this will be invoked after time to destroy now we're done with the start function and it's time to go to the update function we type transform dot translate Then between two brackets, we type vector2 dot right multiplied by speed. Multiplied by time dot delta time. Now we're done with the update function and we want to create a new function which will be on trigger enter 2d in which we'll check if the collision happened between the bullet and the enemy so we'll type collision dot compare tag and between two brackets finish if so we'll call the function destroy shot now don't worry once you write destroy shot it will give you an error but that's only because so far we don't have a function which is called destroy shot. So let's create one. Type void destroy shot. And once you do so, you'll notice that your error message will be gone. So inside this function, we'll only type destroy between two brackets game object. Now save the script and return back to Unity. Once you're back in Unity, add it to the bullet Now set the speed to 70 for example and the time to destroy to 1.5 Now drag your bullet back to the asset section and remove it from the scene One more time, head to the gun game object and in the inspector, drag the bullet to the shot field. Now create an empty game object. Call it shot start. Let's just give it an icon to be able to see it in the scene. Move it and position it at the end of your gun. Now one more time, head to the gun game object, drag and drop the shot start to the shot start field in the inspector, set the max time between shots to for example 1 and start your game. 
Right now, you'll see that the gun aims at the position of your mouse, and whenever you press the left mouse button, it shoots a bullet in that direction. And this will mark the end of the video. As usual, if you learned something new today, give this video a thumb up, share it with your friends, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is the Gamesmith, see you in the next one.